Uh, yeah. Say game, bitch. Y'all already know what it is. Poppy game, man. It's poppy game. Free John Wicks, man. I'm here writing my nigga now, man. My nigga Wicks, man. We here writing my boys now. Y'all don't forget to write your boys on the yard, man. Everybody forgetting about the inmates. Free motherfucking Sharon the Worm. I just spoke to Sharon the Worm. Mac Minister. You know what I'm saying? Mac Blast in Oakland. See, I'm trying to do the damn legal shit. That's what really drew me to Melvin Farmer. You know what I'm saying? The legal shit. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, 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 I'm with the dogs. See what I'm saying? I'm with the... See what I'm saying? I'm with the inmates. You feel? I'm with them real niggas. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to free them real niggas. I told you I got the rest of the court campaign coming up. I told y'all that on the last blog. Y'all know I just beat the feds. You know what I'm saying? Wrote it. Got my book out about it called Yikes the Feds Story. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I got... I'm writing my book now with my sniper gang. Y'all know I'm popping. You know I'm with Poppy Gang, John. Where y'all see I'm... You know what I'm saying? This is my book. It's my uh, eighth book that I just started. I just started my eighth, eighth book. I got this one completed. This one published, though. Completed, published. And I got four more completed. Not published yet. Then I started three more when I was in tour in California on the West Coast. Vegas, uh, Moreno Valley. Fred, much love to the West Coast, man. Uh, which bring me to the topic today about uh, Mother One asked me, you know, asked me about Whack, Whack 100 and the uh, snitch allegations or whatever, you know, uh, 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 Takashi and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And I be, you know what I'm saying? I look at Wack 100, I like Wack 100. You know what I'm saying? I look at Wack 100, I like Wack 100. Wack 100 to me is like the West Coast Charleston White. You see what I'm saying? Charleston White of the South. So, well, Texas. Cause I'm, you know what I mean? I, you know what I'm saying? I really hold that shit down in the South too, though. I love what Charleston doing. Charleston be getting a lot of people with his accolades, though. See what I'm saying? They like, they be pretty much even killed. Back and forth with all that chatty, 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 chatty shit. But Charleston just take off when he when he go to the community shit. Can't nobody say nothing. And that's what really hush everybody up. Me? Nah. You can't do that. You know what I'm saying? I got humanity. I got I got more accomplishments. Or you know what I'm saying? Well, it ain't even about more, having more. See what I'm saying? It ain't even about, you know what I'm saying? It ain't about that. But it is about community, though. See what I'm saying? That's what Charles and be getting motherfuckers at. See what I'm saying? I'm going speaking to the kids in the, you know what I'm saying? In the middle schools. And I'm going to court fight for people, too. See what I'm saying? I just been doing it 12 years. He been doing it 10. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But much, that's why I love Charles and White. Because at, 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 at one point, I was just thinking I was the only motherfucker out here really... Like, you know what I'm saying? Caring for the kids. That's my word. For 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 one for, for, for a little second, I thought I was the for real, for like I thought I was the only person out here caring for the kids, man. That's my word, man. For one goddamn on second. Then I ran across Charleston White. That's what drew me to Charleston White. Then I'm, you know, researching Charleston and I ran across Melvin I mean no no, I ran across Melvin Farmer through Kev Mac. Videos. Much like I told you, I've been on Kev Mac videos, episode 71. I'm the one, only one he didn't air, though. My episode with Kev Mac is the only one he, that wasn't aired, y'all. That's what I'm saying. That's how hard I was going, though. You know, and I wasn't necessarily going hard. You know what I'm saying? I was just like, pretty much, I wasn't Charleston, and, Charleston White in there, but I was just really like, dog, that shit back was here. That Blood and Crip shit back was here. That's, I was saying the same shit. The same shit that the niggas coming out from the blood and crypt shit on the West Coast talking about. Like, yo, man, we, we started something bad and they trying to restore it. So if y'all trying to restore it, you can't knock somebody from the outside that ain't from California that's, that's saying that that shit bad neither. And Charleston used to be a crypt too. So, you know what I mean? So, like I say, man, you know, that's grown man shit. You know what I'm saying? But now back with White Road, honey. I like Wack 100. Like I say, he like the Charleston White of the West Coast. To me, he like the Charleston White of the West Coast. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker got dang on. He, don't call, he call out rats. And you know what I'm saying? Like, he be really p- applying pressure, though. See what I'm saying? Whack getting everybody with the psychological shit, though. All these motherfuckers, like, if you look at, you listen to the Whack 100, man, you be hearing all these motherfuckers on this mo. You be like, damn, this nigga just really, like, it ain't even necessarily that he manipulating, but it's just the fact that he just be reverse psychology, nigga. Like, this shit be crazy as hell how, like, Psychologically in, uh, intact, motherfuckers not. A lot of these motherfuckers on there don't be sight, and then a lot of them be other bloggers. That do, uh, doggy diamonds will be in that motherfucker. Ten toes down. Hassan Campbell, O five one China. You man, you'll see all these, mo- and they lit whack one hundred. Just like whack be putting these motherfuckers. Snow Billy, 
Six nine, that nigga be putting all these motherfuckers in corners to where like he get the leverage. You know what I'm saying? To the point where like he get the leverage. You want to come on here and be a blogger and go back and forth with whack about him? Why you interviewing a rat? And I understand that because I'm a real nigga. I, t I got snitched on. You know what I'm saying? I beat the feds. See what I'm saying? I don't fuck with rats. Period. You know what I'm saying? But if Wax saying that he a, a journalist now, he can do that. You know, like you say, he he, he business. Ain't man, Wax about 50 years old. Like, shit, man, I'm just interviewing a nigga finna get my money. Shit, and, and help my other niggas out. She you never know. I might line his ass up down the line. But y'all motherfuckers sitting up here, you know, worrying about what another grown-ass man is doing. Versus worrying about what they doing. See what I'm saying? All these motherfuckers sitting here with concern about Wack 100 have no community events. No community involvement. All of these motherfuckers still got a lot of youth uh, 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 issues in their own city, respective cities. Why in the fuck, if, 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 if I got all these issues in my community, within my own city, if I got all these internal issues within my own city... How do I even have time to be worrying about what somebody outside of my city is doing? That's what I'm saying. Why would I why would I even have time to even try to have rebuttal about what somebody else doing? When I got all these internal issues. See what I'm saying? Why I'm supposed to be focused on strictly fixing this shit, man. See what I'm saying? That's why, man, look, I'm like this, bro. Oh, oh. I ain't got nothing to do with it, man. I let, you know what I'm saying? You let shit just iron itself out, man. You let shit filter itself out. You know what I'm saying? I like Wack 100. See what I'm saying? Even though a lot of them, of course, I was questioning them. See what I'm saying? Like, damn, these niggas got dang on real life, so-called G's. Me, personally, I already know. You know what I'm saying? If you claiming to be a G, you know what I'm saying? And like, just like with the West Coast, a lot of them attribute they shit to Italian Mafia. New York niggas, Italian Mafia. See what I'm saying? Uh, the Italians are the ones, like, uh, like Tariq. Uh, the dude to be doing the little um, um, damn, what's the name of them little documentations though, man? Wait, I'm talking about them deep Black History documentations. Ain't Tariq something though, man? He had a little episode. I mean, uh, yeah, episode. You know what I'm saying? That he posted with an Italian, and he was just really sitting up there going back and forth with Italian. Like Italians ain't got no mark in America. Like they went. And, Inspirational in American history. Nigga, is you out your fucking mind? Is you. Hold on, oh man. Hold on. Y'all got caught me. See, every time I go down. Is you out your mind, bro? The Italians gave niggas the blueprint on how to be gangsters, my nigga. I'm sorry. If you a nigga and you sitting up here and ain't giving no Italians they props, I'm talking about. From bootleg, don't forget all that shit was underground. That's what we doing now, underground shit. Trapping on, all that shit is underground. Shit, you don't get taxed for by the government, that's underground. Who started that shit? Italians. I ain't saying we ain't have our own little juke, juke junks and little liquor houses and little shit like that. But man, that shit with nothing compared to how the Italians came in like, man, we really got, you know, man, you cannot take nothing from them Italians. But my whole point is that if these niggas pattern themselves after the Italian, you know what I'm saying, uh, 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 embodiment, practice, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, oaths, see what I'm saying, lineage. If you pattern yourself, the gangbangers from the West Coast, listen to them, they talk, they, they, that's all they talk about, the Italian, yeah, man, watching them gangster movies. Hey, we already hear it in rap music in New York. We already know, cause that's that's why all that shit was, you know, pretty much founded there. Them Italians, in, 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 uh, they even look Italy you know, um, in New York. So if these motherfuckers building their shit off of that shit, right? How in the fuck? I, they, they, I, I can understand why they're saying. I know good and well them Italians ain't finna sit down with no rap. That's what I'm saying. I know them Italians ain't sitting down with no rap. And like I was saying with Tariq, like, bro, how the hell you ain't finna. Man, you crazy. Niggas ain't had shit denied. We was still getting all that shit stepped on by them crackers, man, before them Italians came over here. And took the crack attention off the niggas. That's my word. Cause they was the ones really putting the pressure on the, on on, the, on them crack. They the ones, nigga. You you yeah. Y'all hit us. We they the ones shooting back at the police. They the ones killing the police back. They the ones took over the politicians. They the ones uh, 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 bribing the politicians. They the ones bribing got judges in their pockets. They not no niggas. 
It ain't no way you finna got they gonna overlook the attack. No, man. They gave niggas the blueprint on how to be gangsters, nigga, and how to got they gonna take destiny in your own hand, bro. If y'all gonna got they gonna go out, if y'all gonna die, why y'all gonna die with a crack of foot on y'all throat? You might as well just go hit like Tupac said in Juice. How, uh, uh, how the dude was burning up. He like, that's why Tupac was like, that's why I like that motherfucker. Because he took his shit in his own hand. That's a real nigga. You know what I'm saying? When the dude was like, burn. And it was burning in there. Tupac was in the lab and like, oh, shit. That's that nigga. That's that nigga. That's how Tupac was coming. That's that nigga. That's that nigga. You, and turn the TV off. Went and turned talked to his homeboys. That's how. If you going to go out, that's how the fuck you go out, nigga. Take destiny in your own motherfucking hand. And that's real shit. That's what the Italians pretty much taught the African. Look at the motherfucking documentations with, uh, 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 um, um, the shit with Bumpy John. What, 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 damn, what was the name of that movie, man? With the Black Queen and Lawrence Fishburne and them playing in there. With, with, with the Bumpy John. Man, it was the Italians, man. Niggas couldn't do nothing. It ain't no way you even overlook the Italian. Like, y'all wouldn't. That's how Tariq come. Like, man, y'all wouldn't shit, man. We been here. Yeah, we been here like a motherfucker, but we wouldn't doing shit. No. We wouldn't doing that. Until these examples came by the immigrants. Namely, primarily, the goddamn Italians. But we had Irish over here. You know, they treated all of them like niggas. They called it uh, uh, the Italians niggas. Irish niggas. If you went white, nigga, if you went European, if you went from goddamn England... Man, attack, man, them white boys ain't give a fuck about y'all. Them white boys ain't give a fuck about you. Russians, man, white boys, them white boys ain't give a fuck about your way. If you went from England, yeah, you might look like us, but nah, y'all from down that way, y'all from over that way, y'all from over that way, or y'all from way up there. Nigga, we talking about England. Them niggas rep. Them white boys rep, man, but I like what. And I see why people come at them saying, oh, man, you a bitch ass nigga. Because in a way, they all right. Because if y'all sitting up here under this so-called gang shit battle, it uh, it is certain goddamn on criteria you're supposed to follow. And we don't associate with no motherfucking rats. You know what I'm saying? We ain't sitting down just because of business. We Nah, you could you, you could have had your son do that that interview then. Or you could have had your, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, one of your homegirls do that interview. Versus you, somebody tied to this type of motherfucking entity. You know what I'm saying? So I understand that. But I understand whack too. Like nigga, I man, I'm fifty years old, bro. I'm damn about to be sixty years old, bro. I'm about, you know what I'm saying? I ain't claiming you ain't in that life no more. But every other interview, he be on, on pyro. On I like whack though. You know what I'm saying? Of course, you know what I'm saying. He got his dislikes that I don't like about him. Just like Charleston White got his dislikes I don't like about him. Just like everybody got their dislikes that pretty much somebody don't like about them. You know what I mean? I, I'm sure my, everybody don't like me. They got dislikes and approvals about me. You know what I'm saying? But much love to Wack 100, man. Because Wack coming down the pipe with it. When none of these New York niggas had blogs talking about none of the rats that they got in their city. Wack came out calling out Jim Jones. Wack call out, calling out Freaky Ziggy. Wack calling out motherfucking Alpo. Wack calling out all the New York niggas. All that New York rat shit. And not only that. He calling out his own motherfucking people in his own turf. Fuck just California. I'm talking about niggas in his own goddamn, uh, uh, his own game. See what I'm saying? That's what makes it more like, you know what I'm saying? Okay, he ain't being biased. See what I'm saying? But what I do see is, he, yeah, he, yeah, he do be selective. He ain't calling out Reggie Wright. See what I'm saying? Everybody know Reggie Wright a rat. Reggie Wright got caught. How you get 18 months on an international goddamn drug conspiracy with, from, from California all the way to Memphis? Heroin, coke, weed, and guns. And you're a police officer that took the oath. How you get 18 months? That's how you know he'll cooperate with us. Mob James, he called out Mob James. See what I'm saying? Like, I don't understand how he ain't calling out Reggie, Reggie White. That's all I'm saying. See, like, it's certain thing. And then, Wack be having me got dang. I mean, you know, it's a lot of people, though. That's what I'm saying, man. Like, this snitch shit is so dang on. Because these mobile got these damn secret indictments, man. Uh, all right, man. Yeah, I got it. All right, all right, let me wrap it up right quick. You know what I'm saying? But I right, much love to Wack, though. I like Wack 100, though, man. You know what I'm saying? Wack be playing on motherfucking intelligence, and it really be showing how, like, ignorant a lot of motherfuckers are. Even the motherfuckers out here claiming to be smart. They got a lot of ignorance, especially when you step in the platform with, like, Wack 100 and Charles and White. It's just, it's just the combativeness. The exchange be so, like, you be like, dang, I thought you were smart, bro. How in the world are you just letting this dialogue just show that you really aren't smart as you think you is? Wack be beating these motherfuckers up in the head. And Charleston, man, I love them two right there. Charleston and Wack 100, man. 
they be catching niggas off guard, boy. Like, you know what I'm saying? They be pulling niggas' skirts up. I be liking that shit. You know what I'm saying?